put an end to secret killing in Delta. I popped as Governor Kowa. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. I pop made the call in a statement issued on Wednesday by Sports Media Publicity Secretary Mapafo, alleging that compromised security agents in the state are killing innocent people and tagging them as IPOB and ESN Security Network members. The National People of Biafra IPOB has warned the Delta State Governor Ifanya Kowato immediately stop what is described as secret killing of citizens in the state by a secret agency. IPOB made the call in a statement issued on Wednesday by its media and publicity secretary Mapuafo, alleging that compromised secret agents in the state are killing innocent people and tagging them as IPOB and Eastern Security Network members. IPOB retreated that his members are not criminals, saying the United Nations Working Group has defined IPOB's struggle as a peaceful movement seeking lawful self determination from Nigeria. Part of the statement reads, the attention of the global movement and noble family of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the command and leadership of Mazen and the Kano, wish to draw the attention of Ifan Yokowa, the Delta State Governor, to the killing of innocent citizens in Delta State by Nigerian compromised security agents in the state, claiming that they have killed IPOP and ESN. However, IPOP members are peaceful and not terrorists to be hunted and killed. We boldly want everyone, including Nigerian terrorists sponsoring government, to understand that being an IPOB member is not a crime. Recently, the United Nations Working Group, in their public opinion, defined IPOB's struggle as a peaceful movement seeking lawful self determination from Nigeria. If we find Okawa continues to play ostrich, why this barbarity and shedding of innocent people's blood continue? IPO will ensure that his vice presidential ambition becomes a mirage. It is foolishness and stupidity for Ifan Yokowa to support a Nigerian government and its compromised security agencies in eliminating innocent people because of the vice president's lot given to him by Al Haji Atiku Abubakar. Governor Okowa cannot provide an enabling environment for Nigerian government and Fulani dominated security agencies to eliminate our innocent citizens and claim they are IPOB members and ESM operatives. IPOB has no interest in Nigerian selection process called the election because we gave ourselves to Biafran freedom and independence and nothing more. Therefore, we want Governor Ifan Yokowa to disband the criminal gang. He, in collaboration with compromised DSS, created to guide Fulani why encouraging the same gang to kill Biafrans in Delta State. We want Ifan Yokowa to know that we have some respect for him, but if those unwanted killings continue, we are going to surprise you and your government. For emphasis, SEC, our intelligence unit, the M branch uncovered where Dr. Okowa had a secret meeting with Fulani Troy's caliphate to eliminate and slaughter of his people in Delta State because of the vice presidential slot, a Banisian operative, did not attack Nigerian police or his sister secret agencies separated in the Delta State because we have no issue with them. Akawa Ifanya wants to turn Delta State into another killing field of Biafran's youth, just like Hopos of them had turned Imo State. Aiders and stakeholders in Delta State should advise him to retrace his step before it is too late and not allow him to turn Delta State like Hopos of them turn Imo State into a state that devolves its citizens just in a few weeks before because of Vice President Shaka slot. He started by forming a secret military control by his trusted head to wipe out IPOB members. Exactly what we are talking about. These people cannot stop. As far as Igbos are concerned, they love to kill their people because of one title or the other. Mike did the same, and today he's building infrastructure, fly off. Hopos Dama has continued to do his. People have continued to die. In fact, he's becoming the worst of it all. 
Many of them did. Again, now it's Okowa. This is one thing about our people that I dislike so much. Can you see something happen in the Fulani land? Can you see something happen in Hausa land? Atiko is a criminal. And the Okowa wants to become a criminal too. This is what we are talking about. For Igbos to become something in Nigeria, they must kill their people. I only thank God that we can have the Nazi's Igboness. Now we know that he's not an Igbo man. He took that name. He's a fraud, a froster. Wiki has always been a froster. Okawa accepted that he's an Igbo man. But that does not mean that he should kill Igbo youth because he is fighting for a vice presidential candidate. All this whole thing we are talking about here is because we have continued to keep quiet on these people. This one did today. And they will refuse to go after him because nobody wants to die. I don't understand it. We are dying already. We are dying already. We have been in our house and they have come and kill us. So why can't we face them radically and get it done with? By the time we drop one person down, others will learn from their mistakes. I've said this before. These people that claim that they are governors doing all sorts of atrocities. They are not here. They claim that they are immune to something, immune to this, immune to that. They are not immune to the public. They go out here and there with so many escorts. I agree with you. But if they believe they can kill people because they don't have anybody to talk for them, because they don't have anybody to ask about them, why can't you down the consequences? I said, a lot of people will go down but he will be captured alive. This is just what I'm saying. Nothing else. By the time we do that, others will learn from the mistakes that the other ones did. I think I've come to the end of this news. Remember blessing.